questions and so today's topic of my discussion will be mainly focusing upon the antipsychotic drugs so students beginning with the antipsychotic drugs they have also been given another name that is they are also called as neuroleptics and they are also called by another name for them is ataractics so neuroleptics are those drugs which are going to depress the nervous activity which are going to uh, reduce the nervous symptoms by depressing the nerve stimulation by depressing the nerve stimulation they are going to reduce the drugs with they are these drugs they are going to reduce the nervous symptoms by decreasing the nerve excitability and they have been called as the ataractic drugs just because they are going to have a certain kind of a tranquilizing effect that is they are going to provide us a state of freedom from anxiety and emotional disturbance as well so these drugs are mainly helpful in treating those patients who are the mainly the main patients who are treated by such drugs they are the patients of psychosis patients psychotic patients and these drugs they are going to provide those the patients of psychosis they are going to tranquilize them they are going to provide them peace from mental and emotional disturbance and they are going to provide them a state of freedom from an emotional disturbance or and anxiety they are going to lessen or reduce the anxiety so students beginning with the uh, anti anxiety drugs uh, the anti psychotic drugs the classification for these drugs becomes very difficult and cumbersome to remember during the exams just because uh, uh, the classification it becomes very difficult to write so the mnemonic or the short trick what i have made over here is that uh the word that is a b alphabets a capital a and capital b and the third uh, letters that is t o p so alphabets a and b are the top alphabets in the alphabetical order so here it is the mnemonic what i have made so beginning with the first classification so the first class of the drugs what are used as anti psychotic drugs they are the atypical neuroleptics so students beginning with the atypical neuroleptics are those drugs which are going to uh, end by the word peen that is they are going to have a suffix in some of the drugs of this this class they are going to end with the suffix apeen so beginning with the atypical neuroleptic comprises of the drugs that is the clozapine the olanzapine and the risperidone so the first a of the ab top the mnemonic what i have made over here is alphabets a b top so alphabets a and b are the top alphabets of the alphabetical series so the first a i have covered that is the first class of the drugs can be better remembered that is the first a is referring to the atypical neuroleptics so moving on to the second class of the drugs that is the second class of the drugs are the butyrophenones so these butyrophenones the drugs what are uh, coming in this category they are going to have a suffix that is they are going to end with the term peridol 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 so the classes the important drugs of this category comprises include the haloperidol the trifluperidol and the droperidol moving on to the third class of the drugs so students beginning with the uh, a and b the atypical neuroleptics the ab of the uh, uh, mnemonic that is a and b i have covered moving on to the third alphabet that is the t so the t of the top is referring to the thiazanthines so these thiazanthines are the third class of the drugs which are used in the treatment of psychosis patients uh, so thiazanthines comprises the two famous drugs that is the thiothiazine and the flupenthizol so these are the true drugs uh, two drugs what are used moving going on to the o of the top so the o of the top is referring to the other heterocyclic compounds so other heterocyclic chemical compounds they are referring to the reserpine and the loxapine and moving on to the last p of the top the p the last p of the top is referring to the phenothiazines so under this category of the phenothiazines we are going to have three classes of the drugs beginning with the ones ones which are going to have an aliphatic side chain so the aliphatic side chain the drugs what come under this category of phenothiazines uh, they are mostly the very famous drugs are the chlorpromazine and the trifluoromazine so students 
moving on to the next class of the phenothiazines that is which are going to have their piperidine side chains so the drugs of the phenothiazine class which are going to have in the side chain as the piperidine ring so they are the very famous drug of this class is the thioridazone and moving on to the last class that is the drugs of the phenothiazine groups which are going to have the piperazine piperazine side chains the drugs the very famous drugs of these class comprises of the trifluoperazine and the flufenazine so students this was a uh, the mnemonic what i have discussed so the mnemonic to easily remember the classification of the antipsychotic drugs can be better remembered if we just look at the mnemonic that is a b top so a b top means the alphabets a and b are going to be the first top alphabets they are the first topmost alphabets of the alphabetical series and this mnemonic can be used to remember easily can help us to remember easily the classification of the antipsychotic drugs during professional exams and when it becomes very difficult to remember the classification of the antipsychotic drugs so students this was a short discussion about the antipsychotic drugs students if you do like my channel do like my video give this video a thumbs up and if you do have any queries or comments do don't forget to comment in the comment section and students if you do like this my channel don't forget to share and subscribe thank you for watching